This local sports report is presented by the Guelph Minor Football Association, proudly developing players in Guelph for community high school and youth sports football for over 25 years. Learn more about their tackle and flag programs by visiting guelphminorfootball.net. This is it right now! This is it right now! Your last game here, make it count! Make it count! The Guelph Junior Griffins have enjoyed a terrific season and they were at home looking to punch a ticket into the U14 OSFL Championship. The Junior Griffs hosting the Quinty Skyhawks in the semifinals at Alumni Stadium. Opening quarter, the Skyhawks punting from deep in their own end. This is Damian Scott on the return. He picks it up near midfield. Scott running right, he's looking for space. Scott stays on his feet. He cuts back to the middle and how about this? Scott is going to run it back for a Griffin touchdown. That's a 48-yard return. Guelph jumping out to an early 7-0 lead. Back come the Skyhawks a few minutes later. The passer Marco Faubert, he's got it and here goes Marco. He breaks through and he's got a touchdown. Quinty is now trailing 7-6. Then it's a big play from the Skyhawks defense. This pass is picked off by Ryan Scott. The Griffins possession is over but they still lead 7-6 after the first. Second quarter, Cooper Wade is back to pass. He launched is it deep. There is Tyler Nurkowski. He makes the catch and Tyler is looking to score. Evan Gorman racing back and he makes the tackle. Guelph the with the ball inside the five yard line and they cap off the drive with this run for a touchdown. Richard Parker punches it in. He extends the lead. Guelph is up 14-6. Later in the second, how about this catch from Joshua Mutzi. He's on the near side and he's got it. Outstanding from the Griffins receiver. Guelph once again on the move and a few plays later this is Cooper Wade to Joshua Mutzi for a Griffins touchdown that's a nine yard passing play Guelph with a 15 point advantage it's 21-6 the Skyhawks now with the ball but how about Kale Devine he steps in front of the receiver for an interception everything going right for Guelph and they would capitalize on the turnover out comes the offense it's a pitch to Damian Scott and he is going to score Scott runs it in making it 28-6 for the Griffins, but the Hawks answer before the half is over. It's a QB keeper from Dorian Monteverde Sala. He turns on the afterburners, and it's a 42-yard touchdown. Big play from the Quinty QB. They are down 28-14 at the break. Third quarter, the Griffs deep in their own territory. Here comes the Hawks defense, and we've got a safety. That's two points for Quinty. They now trail 28-16 as we move to the fourth, and it's another QB keeper. Dorian Monteverde Sala won't be stopped. He battles his way in for a touchdown. Just like that, we've got a one possession game. Guelph is up 28-22. Back come the Griffins. Cooper wait with a pass to the near side. Joshua Mutzi with the reception. That's a first down as we watch the replay. Mutzi's right foot is clearly in bounds. A good call by the official on the near sideline. Then we've got some power running from Richard Parker. He comes out of the pile and he's dragging the defenders with him. What a run from Parker. All of this leading to a Guelph field goal. The Griffs up 31-22 with three minutes to go. But this game not done yet. Dorian Monteverde Sala picks it up. He takes off and it's dynamite from Dorian as he runs in for a touchdown. Quinty is down 31-28 and they're going for a two-point convert. The pass to the end zone is caught by Javier Vaquerno. The convert is good. We've got a one-point ball game. It's 31-30 with 1.37 left on the clock. The Skyhawks would regain possession, setting up a crazy finish. This is a massive catch from Kem Kemka. Quinty is driving in the final seconds of regulation and it all comes down to this. Quinty is punting looking for a rouge on the final play of the fourth quarter. Will 
Chunk with a perfect kick. The ball bounces through the side of the end zone for a single. It's 31-31, and we need overtime. Here's the first possession for Quinty. They hand off for Javier Vacuorano. He battles his way through, and look out, it's a Skyhawks touchdown. They take an eight-point lead. It's 39-31. The Griffs must match or it's over. Here's fourth down in season for the Griffs. <laughs> Simply put, what a game. The Skyhawks celebrate as they advance. For the Griffins, a heartbreaking end to an incredible season. 39-31 is the final on Saturday at Alumni Stadium.